firstly, I'd like to say thanks to everyone for turning up and Yamaha for organising this. Um, obviously, I've been around a long time now. I've, I've worked it out flying over here. I've done 600 professional races and uh, almost 200 Grand Prix. So it's been uh, it's been a long time. I've done uh, 17 years as a pro now. So uh, done a lot of laps and a lot of time on the bike and. Together with my family, I've decided that it's time to stop and uh, look to do other stuff. And uh, I've had a great time here in Australia. My only regret is that I wish I'd come back even earlier from Europe to uh, to race here. I've enjoyed my time here. I've enjoyed working with CDR and, and, and Yamaha. It's been uh, it's been great. And um, I just really want to say thanks to, to them for giving me the opportunity. And um, also, it looks like we're going to be continuing and doing stuff in the future together with Craig, together in New Zealand and maybe even in Europe. So um, it's really nice to still be part of the Yamaha family and uh, still be coming to the races and see all you guys. And, and, and um, hopefully some of the things I've learned can, uh, yeah, can brush off onto the other riders. So I just want to say thanks, not, not to anyone in particular, just to everybody that's helped me through my career. And uh, it's been a lot of highs and a lot of lows, but uh, of course, uh, like I always say, those lows make the highs really high. And uh, I'll just pass you over to Craig now. Well, this is obviously uh, Josh's moment and uh, a moment well deserved, as he said. The, the, some of those statistics that he just mentioned, something like over 600 professional races, over 160 to 200 Grand Prix, uh, two times or three times running up in the World Championship. Uh, you know, we know he should have won it one of those years, 1980, 1990. 2006. 2006, sorry. I didn't know him then. <laughs> He should have won the World Championship that year and uh, in our minds he still won it. He's a, been a champion bloke and, and probably I'll echo the words with Josh, that Josh said that the only problem that uh, I see about him retiring at this stage hasn't been enough time together. We've spent the last two years together as a uh, rider team manager. It's been probably the best working professional working relationship I've ever had with a rider. He's just such a smart guy. His wealth, wealth of knowledge that he's got, his, his demeanour is he's, he's very calm and calculated. And you just wish every rider had the attributes that this guy's got. As Josh said, it's a work in progress at the moment. Yamaha Australia and Yamaha New Zealand work very closely. Well, they're both the same company, basically. And uh, we want to try and link the two race teams closer together in the future with New Zealand and Australia. Uh, and we hope to see that Josh is part of that process. Um, and he will be excellent at that job. He's a great mentor with our riders. He's been a great asset, even for Lawson this year, a young guy who's you know, we've got for the first year and he's come on the team within his first look a year, he's won a, you know, he's had fastest lap time, he's had fastest mo he's won motos, he's won overall, so he's having a, a blast of the time and a lot of that is due to this guy as well. Um, so there's not a lot of information moving forward about the future in, in, in concrete terms with Josh and us, but there will be a future with CDR and Josh, there will be a future with Josh and Yamaha New Zealand. And uh, Josh is also exploring other avenues with, with Yamaha around the world uh, because his wealth of knowledge and his ability as a test rider is something that Yamaha and us, CDR, don't want to, to let slide by. So 
We've got three more races to go, and I know uh, Josh is a very likeable guy, and I'm sure on behalf of everybody here, we're all rooting for you to try and win this championship. There's only a few points in it, it's a good fight, and with your experience and your tenacity, we wish you all the best, and thank you. Hi Josh, you see this? This is uh, full time in our offices, and then we like to keep it, as uh, I think we both have uh, very good uh, memories of the time we stay with you, you race for us. And uh, I think also it is not just our pleasure to remember what you did for us, but it's for the Yamaha factory and for the staff, team staff. We are all happy. I know the guys are very, have got a very big respect in you. And then uh, I really wish you a good uh, continued of your life. You will maybe not continue to ride motocross that often, but I think you will stay very correct, very good, as you always have proved in our team. And then uh, I'd like to ask Carlo how was to work with you. How was Carlo? Of course, it is an easy reply for me, easy also to say good words uh, towards you, because uh, as you know, we always have a very good relation. We really dream to have you for many years, and then finally we succeed to have a contract together. And uh, I'm very proud to have, uh, to, to, to have you in, uh, in our team and uh, to have, uh, okay, we have a big disappointment in 2007. We share this very big uh, disappointment, but uh, we will never forget the, the memory you left to me, to Michele, to the team, and also to all motocross fans. Josh, uh, in fact, I think I could say on behalf of Yama that uh, to sign with you it, one of, uh, it was one of the best ever choice we made even if we didn't win the championship I just call uh, just remember but uh, we have got a very we have built and got a very good impression and relation with you and this makes everybody happy for you. good luck good luck Josh <laughs>